Welcome back to channel guys and today we've got another video as always. Today we're doing a bit of a hunting video. So we're hunting guinea fowl, uh, which is also known as tarantola here on the farm. We're hunting guinea fowl, franklin and pigeon. So there's an overpopulation of guinea fowl here on the farm and you do have to do some culling. Uh, culling is basically like reducing of population. So our weapon of choice today, obviously because guinea fowl is a bird, you want to go a large caliber. We're just going to be shooting a 22 long rifle. This is my our father's, who was his father, it's quite an old one, but it's still perfect. Nice bolt action. We put a suppressor on, put a new scope on. Uh, it pops in there, like that, bolt in, and then ready. Obviously, there's no bullets inside now. But yeah, as you can see, it just takes a mag like this. Just give you a nice look there. Nice bolt action with a suppressor. Uh, it's chambered hollow points. As you can see there, yeah, yeah, you can focus here. Hollow point, obviously, and then it's that big. Hollow point giving us a lot more impact power, uh, as we've seen like over the hunting. So yeah, we're gonna move down to the, uh, one part of the farm now. We're gonna put up a target, each take about one or two shots, and then we're gonna go out hunting. Okay, guys, so let's just show you here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see up here, but there's a whole herd of guinea fowl, and there's more at the back there. We just want to first go shoot at the um, target we have, otherwise, just, just to make sure that we're shooting fine and the gun's sighted in. There's probably about 40 or so in there. And that's one of the herds, there's another massive um, like flock of them. Okay, so we are now at the target place, you can see that gong there in the distance. It's at 50 meters, because that's what this gun's zeroed at. Just another look at this thing here. It's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'll take a quick first shot there, and then yeah, I will see where it's shooting. So just look like so, just goes in like that. And that goes in and then straight in like that. Awesome. Yeah. Okay guys, so it's zeroed at 50. And we're gonna obviously try shoot the guinea fowl stuff I get a little bit closer. But if it's shooting at 50, then we know it's shooting right. So you could take a shot, I took a shot, and uh, see how it shot. Okay, yeah, okay, so this is my shot, that's Luca's shot. So there was two little thingies that we made. So we aim basically a thing like that. I I'll give you a fire, you probably can shoot this whole thing, yeah? But obviously just to make it more accurate. So that thing's perfectly accurate. Okay, so we've just stopped here now. The herd's in front there. Luca's got the gun there. Uh, he's going to take the first shot. So you guys can't really see on the camera, but let me try. The herd's literally in the back there. Um, we don't want to take the road because it's going to be quite bushy and I think if we walk nicely here we can try like get lined up with one of them. Okay, so we got to the tree there but there wasn't any way for him to rest or for shoot properly. So we're coming around now and the other side of the bush. So what the plan is we're going to try to see if because we, as long as any, any distance now is perfect. We just want a position to rest. Okay guys, so Luca just shot his as you saw there. Um, I tried to take a shot, I think I missed, or I don't know what happened. But we saw Lucas go down. So yeah, well done, eh? Okay, so we're gonna go look for another. They were like a right about here. Okay guys, so we just found it there now. Here's Luca, yeah? It's nice size guinea fowl, this thing's quite big. <laughs> Slip it around there. You can grab it with the legs there. No way, I'm not touching it. That's quite a nice one there, eh? And I was, it was quite a long shot, I'd say probably about 20, 20 30 meters. It's quite nice. So yeah, and it was a nice little stalk and everything. So as you can see, uh, it's quite a big bird. I mean, that's very big. It's like, especially for Americans, this is probably like a, an African turkey, basically. It's quite a big bird. Hey guys, so remember I, I took a shot and I thought I missed. I actually went straight here. The thing dropped immediately, as you can see, it's lying, yeah. So Lucas, Lucas shot quite a big one. There's the tree right there. So yeah, this is mine I shot, yeah? Okay guys, so um, now, as I said earlier, there was two flocks. So that's a big flock and there's another on the other side of the farm. So we're going to let, let these settle down a bit because we've just shot two from there. We're going to take a drive to the other side of the farm. So we're going to take care of this road and go all the way to the other side of the farm, there where that dam is, if you saw my other video. And then we're going to look there around there and see anything. We also might see if we can see some uh, uh, Franklin and some pigeons. And then later on, we'll come back for these, yeah? But yeah. You guys probably won't be able to see that, but all the way back there, about 150 meters or so, is the herd we just shot at. So they're obviously migrating across now. 
the other herd that we normally see is in here they're normally like under the trees here so i wonder if they will link up with the other ones and we'll see we just drove past some franklin but we left them because we saw these here so if all else fails we'll go back and shoot some of the franklin like earlier but best best prize is if we get some more frank uh guinea fowl okay guys so we just got under the tree here sorry i didn't show this in my previous video this is a, a camp for when we get new animals they come in here and they can just adjust the climb before they go out into the bush okay so back to the video this is our plan we're gonna walk so you saw the guinea fowl that was in that open plot so they're coming this way we are in the bush that i pointed at so we're gonna walk this way and try and meet them in the middle but i think they're a little bit further down so let's see how it goes How long was that stalk? Okay. Oh, excuse me. We probably stalked for that for about an hour and a half. Jesus. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is the second herd we tried. Like I said, yeah, under the trees. Exactly where we were. Great shot by Luca. Uh, that took so long to get. So yeah, now it's my turn again. You see if we, I think now we're going to go try for some Franklin. Just let the guinea fowl just calm down for a bit. But yeah, it's quite a nice one, yeah. Lift it up there. It's quite a nice one. Well done, boy. This right here. Look at the wingspan on it. This is my hand. And I've got quite big hands. So we'll put it like this. It's a size 10 foot. So it's a very big bird. And it's basically like a turkey. And, and the thing also that's amazing about these birds is look at this thing here. It's, this is what they used to fight also. It's almost like a horn type of thing. They got that. And of course they've got their massive talents too. Look at that. So it's it's basically like a turkey. And um, there's so many on the farm here. So I think we'll leave them for now. Just let them relax because the stalk was hard. I took about an hour and a half to stalk this thing. So we're gonna let this one, we're gonna let the, the herd relax. Now we're gonna go to get some uh, Franklin stuff, which is almost like a, it's a smaller version of it. We'll, we'll compare when we get one. Hey guys, look at me, stumbled upon the, the Franklin right now on the way back from this. So let's see if I can get one. Hey, look, they're right in there, you see that amazing one? Hey guys, so we're walking on the way back, like literally he has the vehicle and we were inside here and we just spotted them. Then I took a shot, literally ran through here. There's a little hole here, obviously made by them. They ran and they came out and they ran through there. They're just lying over there. So yeah, um, the problem was they were walking. So I didn't have much time lying right here. Perfect shot. As you can see, this thing's a lot smaller than a guinea fowl. Also though, massive tans. And look at that massive thing right there. They use that a lot for fighting. So guys, I just want to show you the comparison of size compared to the two here. So as you can just see there. The guinea fowl is way bigger and they're both the same type of species yeah we've got four in there now so three guinea fowl and one franklin we're going to try get some more franklin now we're going to go back to where we shot the first guinea fowl because there was a lot of franklin there so we'll see there okay guys so now as you can see it's 9 42 we started that stalk at about quarter to nine so it's quite a long long stalk eventually we got it there which is good so yeah, like I said, now now we're gonna head to other side of the farm where we shot the first guinea fowl, and we're gonna try get some more Franklin there. So yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, Oaks, that's the end of the video today. We drove around for about an hour and a half or so. We saw nothing, and uh, yeah, we decided to come back get some lunch because we already got four birds, which is enough. I'm gonna show them all your friends. And um, people that might say, oh, this is all going to waste and stuff like that. Not really, because the people, this all right here, is going to the people that work on the farm. It tastes just like chicken anyway. I mean, I also enjoy eating this, so it's not that bad. But here you go, he has all four of them. So yeah, they basically, they'll just pluck all the feathers off and then boil it whole and they'll even use the um, feet sometimes also for like a stew or something. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe. Also, if you enjoy this type of videos, the hunting stuff, leave a comment down below and yeah, we'll see you next time.